million pound capture from the Scottish club Hibernian. The big poser for Graham Taylor was who to play up front, and it's Swedish striker Marcus Allback who misses out as Darius Vassell partners six foot seven inch Peter Crouch. Finnish keeper Peter Engelman has taken over from Peter Smeichel. Alpi plays despite seemingly being rather restless at Villa, and former Liverpool man Steve Staunton is the captain. Well, Liverpool give a Premier League debut to £10 million Senegal striker El Hadji Diouf, one of the stars of the World Cup. He partners Michael Owen with Emile Heskey left on the bench. A quick look at that bench says much about Liverpool's strength in depth. Also sitting there, another new signing in Bruno Sheiru. Jimmy Traore gets the nod at left-back. He spent last season on loan back in his homeland at Lons, who just missed out on the title. Gerard Houllier really does have a squad brimming with quality. Last season's runners-up are ready for action. Andy Derso keeping order. And we're almost ready for the off. Liverpool's championship challenge starts here. Can they finally get the better of Arsenal and Manchester United? The trail towards the title begins in Birmingham. Aston Villa, well, they should be up there with the likes of Liverpool already, but too often in recent years they've been in the group just behind the leading pack, and nearly, but not quite club. Gareth Barry delivers one straight away. Oh, Peter Crouch with a chance. Wouldn't really come down for him. And Abel Xavier trying to beat Darius Vassell to it, but it's a, a goal kick. Steve Staunton, the skipper, against his former club. Michael Owen. Alpai with the challenge. Free kick is going to be given, even though Alpai felt he got the ball. Clearly got the man. Oh, by a semi-finalist at the World Cup with Turkey. Been linked with Leeds. Doesn't seem to be too happy at Villa at the moment. Not too many players who are, to be fair. Most of you have left the club in recent times. Riza delivers, but it's going to drift away for a goal kick. What a season he had, though, last term. John Arno Riza. Gerard Houllier. Thankfully in good health now, came back towards the end of last season after heart surgery. But uh, Aston Villa did win at Anfield last season by three goals to one, an impressive result for them. They just never seem to do well against Liverpool on their own patch, and some patch it is too, Villa Park these days. Arena. We're off at Melbourne. Delaney. Internationals all over the park. Gerard. Duve. Murphy nearby. So to Abel Xavier. Alpai lunged in on El Haji Duve. Andy Durso less than impressed with that challenge, and it's going to be the first yellow card of the game, and that's very unfortunate for Alapai because he has to tread very carefully now. And he's still got 76 minutes in which to tread carefully. Not easy when you're a central defender. Turkish international. It's the first card of the game. Don't really want a yellow card this early with the likes of Owen and Diouf nipping around you. In comes the free kick, but it's going to veer away for a goal kick. Nothing coming of that. Melberg put under pressure. By Diouf. Did a bit of that in the World Cup, didn't he? Especially against the French. Melberg on the end of the long throw from Riza, though, and it's duly dispatched by Delaney up towards Crouch, but Moncho was just nipping away at him a little 
too much for the referee's liking. And a free kick for Villa. Peter Crouch started his career at Tottenham and went to QPR. He was Portsmouth's player of the year last season, even though he left during it to join Villa. Traore making his first appearance in the Premiership for a couple of years. He spent last season on loan at Lons. Stormson nicely done that for De La Cruz. And it could open up here for Aston Villa. Oh, it was taken away by Dudek, from Dudek by Onsho. Diouf. And he's wriggled his way clear of three Villa men, but then Alpai got in the way. Hendry. And Vassell now. Promising this for Aston Villa. Darius Vassell got it across, but it's cleared by Xavier and then by Murphy. And now Steven Gerrard. It's Villa's throw and the home fans given plenty of encouragement by that little burst of activity from Aston Villa. Stefan Oncho had to clear the cross from De La Cruz. Barry gets it back from Hitzelsperger. Villa will get another throw. Hitzelsperger, only 20 years of age. Quickly he established himself in this Aston Villa side. His long throw is met by Abel Xavier though. Hupier. Oops, not by Stanton, seem to get in each other's way. Liverpool remaining calm. <laughs> He's always looking for something El Haji Diou from uh, starting to annoy the Aston Villa fans and it's starting to annoy Andy Durso too because Diou for a touch of the verbals has been shown a yellow card you can, you can see what Gerard Hulier thinks of that he has been protesting almost every challenge for Haji Diou and he never, was never really going to get anything for that ended up on the Villa bench Diouf and Alpay both booked. And uh, Andy Diouf, so trying to play the advantage after that challenge. Here's Gareth Barry. Peter Crouch and Hoopy are both going for it. John Anarisa. It's steered back by Melberg to Enkelman. Well, Lee Henry really felt the force of the challenge, but credit to the referee. We saw that Villa were trying to mount an attack. Traore. Crouch. Trying to put De La Cruz in. Look at him go. Plenty of pace. Traore stuck with him. De La Cruz making his debut for Aston Villa. The uh, card is going to be shown here to Dietmar Haman for that earlier challenge on Hendry. Good refereeing that, he let the game flow. It was Haman who lunged in at Lee Hendry there, that was a nasty one. Hendry saw it coming, to be fair, and just as well. But uh, three bookings in the opening 20 minutes. Diouf and Haman for Liverpool, Alpay for Villa. Hitzelsberger with a corner, and Alpay is there! It's off the line and away by Oncho. It's going to come back in, though. And Dudek with an amazing save. And still it won't go in. A remarkable sequence in front of Liverpool's goal. And somehow it stayed out. Although Dudek certainly needed help from his defenders. We'll have a look at that in a moment, because Alpay has sent it straight back in, and it's a lot calmer this time. Well, first of all, it was Oncho, 
who bailed out Liverpool. But back in it came, and Staunton's header somehow turned onto the bar by Dudek. Great reaction. Hitzelsberger. Diouf is uh, really going to wind up opposing fans because he just moans at the referee every time he loses the ball. Here's Vassell. He's got away from Oncho. Oh, and it's cut out by Abel Xavier. Corner kick for Aston Villa, who are having a very, very good spell here. Kitzelsberger delivers again. And it's just glanced away by Traore. Lee Hendry! Oh, diverted on its way. For Villa body as well. A corner kick. Broke kindly to Hendry, who scored in both games against Liverpool last season. And it was Peter Crouch who poked it wide. And had he not done so, Alpi might have been in with a sniff there. Gareth Barry. De La Cruz calling for well on that right-hand side, but the first port of call will be Delaney. Now De La Cruz. Delivering on his weaker left foot. It's away by Abel Xavier. Staunton. Barry with a chance to deliver. Comes in on his right foot. Oh, he's gone for it. Knocked out of the air, though, by Jose Dudek. He made his debut for Liverpool against Aston Villa last season, but ended up on the losing side as Villa triumphed 3-1 at Anfield. He's got a good shot on him, Gareth Barry. Surprised he hasn't scored more than four goals for Villa. by Dela Cruz, a free kick for the Reds of Merseyside. I wonder if a man might fancy having a blast from here. It's a long way out, but he can hit them. So to John Arna Risa. Risa has moved away. Danny Murphy standing over the free kick. A bit too far out, really, I suspect. Abel Xavier to Diouf. Owen is there, and her man is there. Couldn't never really bring it under control. But Liverpool will hang on in there. Another corner. Which Crouch comes back to defend. Makes sense, really, doesn't it, when you look at him? Crouch, who actually met it. Murphy. Haman. And Gerard slides it across. Oh, what a chance for El Haji Diouf to open his Premier League account. Well, the fans rather enjoyed the fact that he skied it. Michael Owen just missed it. <laughs> Lost his boot in the process. But uh, Liverpool's best chance of the game. It was sent back out to Gerard Water centre and Owen actually felt he was impeded there well he's certainly had his shirt tucked a little bit by Delaney whether it was enough to completely put him off his stride I'm not so sure but uh, Owen certainly protested to referee Andy Durso who kind of needs eyes in the back of his head at the moment how much contact was there? Delaney certainly had a little tug at Owen's shirt. Murphy. Inside the last ten minutes of the first half. Abel Xavier. Ariza. Poor touch allowed Hendry to nip in. Now Dela Cruz. Staunton, former Liverpool man. Well, he was looking to send it out to Vassell, who had peeled away. To the left flank, but the flag was up anyway for offside. Haman taking a rather direct but maybe effective route to Michael Owen, who is in. Oh, and Enkelman's touch took it wide, and Milberg will be one relieved man because Michael Owen shook him off. What an exquisite ball from Haman, by the way. Milberg caught out, and Owen denied by the Finnish keeper, Peter Enkelman. Goodman 
Stepping up to be Villa's number one goalkeeper this season after the departure of Peter Schmeichel to Manchester City. Risa delivers the corner and Enkerman will have that as well. It's only his 32nd match for Villa. Tony Murphy might have uh, taken a knock, which he's trying to run off. He's suddenly getting involved there. He's getting involved a bit too much. Well, he was on the receiving end of a challenge a moment ago, and uh, I think he was still thinking about it, Danny Murphy. As he clattered in to Mark Delaney, and the fourth yellow card of the game, three of them to Liverpool. Diouf, Haman, and now Murphy. Alpai in the book for Villa. It's a competitive contest. Shake of hands between Murphy and Hitzelsberger, who might have been the man to uh, catch him a moment ago. But Murphy took his retribution out on Delaney. Staunton delivers the free kick. A man, though, leading this Liverpool charge. Now Michael Owen. He's poked it past Melberg, but it's straight through to Enkelman. Peter Enkelman only cost Villa £200,000, a John Gregory signing. Could turn out to be uh, a bargain, really, because he's very highly rated. Three caps for Finland already, but struggling to get any more at the moment because Antti Niemi is the first choice, and he's not bad either. There was Dudek of Poland. Staunton, Delaney, who just a few years ago was working in a factory playing non-league football in Wales. Cardiff City gave him a chance in the professional game. And Villa signed him from there. Being a professional footballer probably beats working in a woolens factory, I would imagine. Hendry. And Barry. Poor controller mutually from Gareth Barry, who is another who's been around for a while, even though he's only 21. Abel Xavier. Stefan Oncho. Liverpool lost the FA Community Shield, the charity shield as was, to Arsenal last week, 1-0. But uh, the outcome of that match, hardly a pointer towards the serious stuff, really. And the serious stuff, stuff has started this weekend. The Premier League season underway and still two more games to come Arsenal Birmingham later today and Newcastle West Ham tomorrow Delaney to Hendry De La Cruz he hasn't really shown us what he can do yet but then he he's up against a formidable left back in uh, Jimmy Triori boosted by the experience of a year back in France with Longs like Liverpool, we're challenging for the title, but like Liverpool, finish second. De La Cruz was a joy to watch at times in his spell in Scottish football. Hendry. Marcel losing out to Haman. He played in the World Cup final, beat by Haman. Abel <laughs> Xavier. Here's Diouf. Caught by Hendry. Lee Hendry asked for a rest in uh, February last season and he was given a longer rest than he expected by Graham Taylor. Hardly figured for the rest of the campaign. Did do well against Liverpool in both games last season, Hendry. A couple of goals. And he gives you a lot more besides. He needs to give you a lot up against this midfield. Uh, Peter Crouch has just taken it off the toes of Murphy. And Darius Fussell has done admirably. Well, and then he gave it straight to Gerard, having done the hard bit. Side against El Hanji Diouf, the Senegalese striker. Up ten goals in the French league last season, Diouf. And. Uh, just straight then. 
That's the uh, Villa man who read back in front of him. Liverpool have a good opening day record. They uh, haven't lost on the opening weekend of the season since the Premiership began, actually, ten years ago, 1992. A 1-0 defeat at Nottingham Forest. Teddy Sheringham with a winner. In fact, they've only lost three of their opening fixtures in the last 27 years. The Villa are giving them a game here. Michael Owen has been floored by Alpi, who must be treading very, very carefully now. Already on a yellow card, I can't imagine. There are going to be too many uh, warnings for Alpi. Well, as I said earlier, when you're up against Diouf and Owen, you've got to be so, so careful anyway. A couple of minutes to go in the first half. Aston Villa nil, Liverpool nil. Haman. Villa cried handball against El Haji Diouf, but here he is again. Oh, it's going to open up for him! And the deflection took it wide. But he showed what he was all about then with some quick feet. Although Villa felt that he got away with a handball earlier. Well, he skipped away from Staunton. I think it was Melberg who uh, came across to divert it wide. John Arnorisa with half time fast approaching sent the corner in and uh, Gerard tried the spectacular. Tried and failed. De La Cruz. A minute to go of normal time and a minute to be added on. Hendry. De La Cruz. Side Triori, but Dimar Haman wasn't far away either. Just a goal kick. This is De La Cruz. Being closely watched by two men. They would have done their homework on him. They would have known all about him from the World Cup. Signed by Alex McLeish, now Rangers manager, but uh, that was when McLeish was at Hibernian. He signed him actually just before the. Uh, Copper America tournament. In which he also performed admirably, and I'm sure there would have been a few more clubs interested in him had Hibbs not already snapped him up. Hendry. Rupia. Formidable in the air, but here's Peter Crouch. Tantalizing touches from Crouch, but. Interception was from Poncho. Here he goes, Michael Owen. And Melberg just about fended him off, but it was close. And they've got their work cut out, the central defenders of Villa. Melberg and Owen and Alpai and Diouf. And a free kick, which might well be the last action of the first half. John Anarisa then with his trusty left foot. Floats this one in, but it's Enkelman's ball. Never any doubt about it. That might be that as far as the first half is concerned. Been a fiercely fought 45 minutes, but then you'd expect that in the opening weekend of the season. El Haji Diouf has certainly put himself about without endearing himself to the Villa fans, that's for sure. He nearly scored. Diouf, Michael Owen felt he was tugged in the box. The Graham Taylor's team have had their moments as well, that's for sure. And I'm sure there is a lot more to come from them. But at half time, in the Barclay Card English Premier League at Villa Park on the opening weekend of the season, it's Aston Villa nil, Liverpool nil. 
It's Liverpool then who start the second half at Villa Park. No goals so far. A reminder that four players are on yellow cards because that could be ominous, especially for Alpai, who has virtually had a final warning. Uh, he's the only Villa man who's been booked. For Liverpool, it's Diouf, Haman and Murphy on yellow cards. Here is Mark Delaney taking a rather direct route towards Crouch, but Sammy Hoopier not troubled by that and cleverly marshalling it behind. Named in the PFA team of the season last season, the only Liverpool player to figure in that, surprisingly. Peter Crouch, the tallest player in the Premiership. Graham Taylor in his first spell at the club. Signed Ian Ormanroyd, big lanky striker, and Crouch has been compared to him. Say uh, Crouch's touch on the ground is pretty good for a big man. Here's Haman, Abel Xavier, an unmistakable Portuguese international. Gareth Barry steering that one through to Enkelman. Villa having to change managers at the end of January when J uh, John Gregory resigned. Vassell. De La Cruz, he's got time to deliver. Crouch, Hendry! It was blocked by Gerard. And now Danny Murphy looking to race away. And he's doing just that. Risa to his left. It's going to go through to John Arna Risa. And Liverpool lead! A classic counter-attack, Liverpool style. And last season's runners-up are up and running this season. And it all stemmed from an Aston Villa attack. Murphy led the way, a stumble there proved to be the downfall of Delaney. And it gave John Arna Risa time to finish a goal right at the start of the second half. And Liverpool are on the title trail. Hoopier and Co are home to Southampton next week, and Villa travel to Tottenham. Both hoping to make a winning start to the season, but it's Liverpool in charge at the moment. Vassell trying to do something about that. Here's Peter Crouch and Hendry. Oh dear, drilled it well wide in the end. A disappointing ever from a man who scored twice against Liverpool last season. Graham Taylor watching on. Only three wins in his 13 games in charge. Staunton. Gareth Barry's away to the left. Hitzelsberger trying to go for it himself. Murphy snuffed it out. Vassell couldn't control it, but he gets it back from De La Cruz. Murphy went with him, but Vassell able to deliver! Oh, tremendous try from Peter Crouch. Graham Taylor's first signing eventually... It will work out as a £6 million deal. But Crouch scored 19 goals for Portsmouth last season. Won their Player of the Year award, even though he left in the latter stages to head for the Midlands. Owen. Gerard leaves it for Haman. Xavier. Her man, Staunton came rushing out. Some fancy footwork from her man to Steven Gerrard. Murphy, it's deep to Diouf. He needed to head it back across goal, really. That might have been what he was trying to do, but it ended up in the side netting. Delaney's throw. And De La Cruz. Was snuffed out, both men are down injured actually. The ball will be kicked out. Well, the referee has stopped play anyway. It's 
Stephen Gerrard hurt, and that's a, an ominous sign, a man who's had his fair share of injuries. He was hurt blocking the shot from De La Cruz. And I think it was actually the follow-up. Uh, De La Cruz just caught Gerrard then, uncomfortable. Liverpool strengthening their squad with the signing of El Hadji Diouf and Bruno Sheru, who's on the bench today. Salif Diaw, another Senegal World Cup star, has also arrived. Plus Alou Diara and uh, another goalkeeper in Patrice Luzi. I think they mean business. They didn't get Lee Bowyer, of course. That move from Leeds never happened, and they said no to Nicolas Anelka. But they do have such a strong squad. Haman, very much an integral part of that squad. And it comes off Staunton. Who retired from international football after the World Cup. A record 102 caps for the Irish. The youth on towards Murphy, who pulls it back here for Owen. Oh. A let off. Aston Villa as Michael Owen is snuffed out. Well, it looked really ominous for Villa then, it could have been all over. Lovely touch from Diouf. And Murphy aware that Owen was waiting. And I think it was Delaney who flung himself across Owen's path. Riza delivers the corner, Xavier's header. Barry made it his, now Melberg. Dietmar Haman, ready to deliver again. Hoopia, not too much on that. And Michael Owen got 24, uh, 28 goals last season. I must have thought he was going to get off the mark for this campaign, but look at Delaney coming in there. Crouch, Hitzelsberger. Nobody warned him that uh, Murphy was the man on. Murphy looking for Riza, who could be in here rather inadvertently. And this time he does go for the other side of Enkelman. And it's going to be a corner. I think Enkelman might have got a touch on that, actually. But uh, Villa were their own worst enemies then. A strange one, that. And Riza nearly benefited. And it's a Premier League debut for the Swedish striker... Marcus Allback coming on to replace Peter Crouch. Allback cost just £2 million from the Dutch club Heron Vane before the World Cup. Xavier. Murphy. And Gareth Barry having to concede the corner. No way that Gerard was going to give that one up. Short corner. Murphy! Oh, really packed a punch from Danny Murphy. To the side netting. And he gets his fair share of goals, doesn't he? Just ask Manchester United. Not scoring against them. A quarter of the game to go in the Barclay Card English Premier League. It's Aston Villa nil, Liverpool one. Liverpool had the best defence in the Premier League last season. Can't imagine them giving much away either this season. Aston Villa have got to try and pierce that defence. Murphy having just run back on the field. The Villa fans irate that he ran straight back on and got involved. And the referee not concerned with the challenge on Diouf. And uh, Staunton is going to get a card for that. Villa fans think that Diouf goes down a little too easily, hence they're giving him plenty of stick, but I'm sure he was clipped here. Steve Staunton, though, is summoned to Andy Durso. It's the fifth yellow card of the game. Staunton booked against his former club. Two spells with Liverpool, and uh, now in his second spell with Aston Villa.
Portuguese international. Abel Xavier takes the free kick. Oh, it's come to Diouf! He fails to deliver in front of the Liverpool fans at that end. But uh, it was diverted away from goal. Diouf hoping for a goal on his Premier League debut. Liverpool having to settle for a corner. Murphy chips it in. Enkerman away. A man though. Deep Mahaman on the volley. We know he can hit them. But again, it took another diversion en route. Sat up so well for Haman. And uh, just looped off Delaney, was it? And onto the roof of the net. Maybe Staunton. Another corner for Liverpool. Before it's taken, though, Alpai is being ticked off again. I tell you what, he's had about three final warnings in this game, Alpai, having been booked early in the match. Alpai and Kupia just being told to calm it down. And Alpai really needs to, being on that yellow car. They're at each other again. As it delivers, Abel Xavier there. A compromising clearance. And Delaney, and now... Can Villa go on the attack? Gareth Barry stepping away from Krupia. Staunton. Diouf involved again. Emil Heskey left on the bench today to accommodate El Haji Diouf. Haman. Riza. Traore to Haman. It's the sort of situation Liverpool relish this, but Allback has charged that down, and Dela Cruz is going to get to it. Dela Cruz delivers, and what a chance here! And wide it goes from the new boy, Marcus Allback. Glory beckoned for the Swedish striker, and it was he who made that possible, having. Blocked the clearance. Dela Cruz with a delightful centre. And that's the sort of chance really that you have to take. Liverpool looking to finish Villa off as Gerard goes down and the penalty is given. Gareth Barry's challenge. And Villa protest. But Liverpool had the chance to go two up here. What a pass, by the way. And, well, it was clumsy from Gareth Barry, who was wrong-footed by Gerrard. And a penalty for Liverpool. And that means Michael Owen. Here comes Owen. Oh, what a stop from Enkelman! Made contact with his legs, and Michael Owen is forward from the spot, and Aston Villa are hanging on in there. Enkelman, the new number one, and the new hero of Villa Park. <laughs> Just caught it with his foot, having dived to his left. But it doesn't matter how you stop them. Enkelman has kept Villa's hopes alive on the opening weekend. Barry, one of the relief that uh, the penalty he gave away was saved in such style. So 
so Enkelman and Villa are still in it. So is he. And Gerard Houllier is going to make another change, and Villa might also be uh, considering another substitution. Camille Heskey is going to be on soon. Michael Owen's penalty, his last action. Not his day, really. Owen comes off. And on comes Emil Heskey, who's never scored against Aston Villa in his career. Played against them 13 times. Zero goals against Villa. goals last season for Heskey. He's not uh, prolific as strikers go, but he's one of those players that his teammates love because of his contribution to the game. I know all the lads at Leicester and now Liverpool speak very highly of him, even though he does have one or two critics here and there. And that penalty save from Enkelman has given Villa fresh hope. They're buzzing a bit now, if Dela Cruz can get going here. The man trying to stop him, now Traore tries to stop him. De La Cruz giving his all for the Villa cause. Passel comes across. De La Cruz, Vassell. Finding a bit of space for himself, Staunton. Gareth Barry, here's Hadji. And uh, not quite what was required, really, from Darius for sale that time. Ended the season with a few goals for sale, four in the last three games. And Villa need to find one from somewhere. The Liverpool are. Uh, the best around when it comes to the clean sheet business. Delaney pushed over by Diouf. Looks like he uh, will uh, see out the 90 minutes anyway, even if Owen hasn't. Well, Hadji Diouf, the African Footballer of the Year. Hadji's header. Heskey, Murphy, Gerard, nicely done for Haman. Here is Duf. Now, Riza, scorer of Liverpool's goal. Michael Owen's penalty saved since by Enkelman. This would be a solid start for Liverpool if they can uh, secure three points here. And if they do win, it will be their fourth success in five visits to Villa Park. They simply love coming here. And Gareth Barry is going to come off and be replaced by one of Villa's rising young stars, J. Lloyd Samuel, who played a few games last season. It was at Charlton and Villa actually found guilty of poaching him from there. Had to pay uh, £50,000 in compensation and that will rise to £275,000 if he goes on to play for England. And that's not such a big if because he really impressed last season, J. Lloyd Samuel. Definitely one for the future, although, of course, Ashley Cole, who uh, occupies that spot for England, not much older. Staunton. Wayward, and not what Villa need just now. <laughs> Liverpool were seven points behind Arsenal at the end of it all last season, three points above Manchester United. Marcel looking to get in, Hoopier having to turn it behind for a corner. in front of the famous Holt End at Villa Park. 
Alpay will come up to add an imposing physical presence. Haji delivers, Dudek punches. On by Diouf. Villa's throw, five minutes to go at Villa Park. And there'll still be some defending to do for Dudek and co. Oh dear. Straight out off the boot of Melberg. Oncho. Xavier. Diouf. Gerard. Sending it into the shade. But uh, Risa unable to bring it under control. And Liverpool will still have a bit of work to do in this game. They could have been home and dry, but Michael Owen's penalty saved by Peter Enkelman after Gerard had tumbled over Barry in the box. Here's J. Lloyd Samuel, who was uh, sent off pre-season in one of the Intertoto Cup ties that Villa played. Against FC Zurich. He's taken a few sore ones today, Danny Murphy. The question for Villa is, how do you breach this formidable Liverpool defence? Some of their fans don't have an answer, they're leaving already. Staunton. Hendry. Oh, he lifted it over the top, what a chance here! Dudek saves from Vassell, but the flag was up anyway. Wouldn't have counted. Some of it over. And Vassell. Well, not given the uh, benefit of any doubt there might have been, because Traore looked like he could have been level, and there's a new rule this season that says there has to be clear daylight between defender and striker for it to be ruled offside. Graham Taylor needs a goal, but a few Villa managers in recent times have needed the same, and that has been a recurring problem. Although Juan Pablo Angel did so well last year, still at the club, by the way, even though they thought they were going to lose him. Sideline at the moment but I suspect the Villa fans will be leaving saying same old problem, they never give much away defensively but not exactly a free scoring side <laughs> Olof Melbourne had an excellent first season in English football after joining from the Spanish club Racing Santander who were relegated from the top flight in Spain Gerard, on the outside of his boot, looking for Diouf, but Melberg reacting quickly. Delaney. De La Cruz, Hendry. Well, the Villa fans continue to drift away, but the players continue to plug away. J. Lloyd Samuel, taken off his toes by Danny Murphy. Murphy again, another solid and dependable display from him. Now, Diouf. Jamie Carrick is going to be on shortly for Liverpool. Won't have much time to make a contribution, but it might while away a few seconds. I presume he'll come on in that uh, left-back role, perhaps. There will be four minutes of added on time, though. And Villa will be uh, more pleased than Liverpool to see that sign come up. We're inside the last minute of normal time. Alpi. Samuel. Aston Villa haven't really looked too threatening as far as an equaliser is concerned. Sure, they've had their moments, but uh, creating chances against Liverpool is easier said than done. They've certainly got to get it up the other end of the field soon. And there's not much time to hang around now. 
Alpine. Staunton. Here's Hendry. De La Cruz. He has Traore in front of him. Shook him off, but uh, no end product. As we move into the four minutes of added on time at Villa Park in the Africa on English Premier League. Liverpool leading. And to waste a few seconds, they're going to bring on Jamie Carragher, who uh, also missed out on the World Cup. Actually had a knee operation in the summer as well. And off comes El Haji Diouf. A fairly impressive debut for the Senegal striker. Certainly succeeded in winding up the <laughs> Villa fans. But uh, showed signs of what he could do. We know what he can do, of course, in the World Cup, but yeah, it's just about tucking in now and hanging on for Liverpool. If they are to have a winning start to the 2002-2003 Premier League season. Still three minutes to go, though, have added on time. But Villa struggling to really hurt Liverpool. Lassell trying to change that. Staunton, away towards Samuel, it will go, I'm sure. Cheaply given away by uh, Samuel. And now Heskey do battle. And oh, it's going to come here to Steven Gerrard. Fine stop from Enkelman, who has added to his fast-growing reputation today with a save from Michael Owen from the penalty spot. A couple more vital contributions too to foil Liverpool. But uh, I suppose it's a, a classic scoreline for championship contenders, really. You've got to get a few of these throughout the course of the season, haven't you? One nil away wins. Eski trying to double their advantage. Hadji, now Samuel, there's no time to pass it around, really. They've just got to get it up there. And there it goes. Traore, and there's a push on him by Vassell. The free kick will be given. And Liverpool are nearly there. Frustrating afternoon in the blistering Birmingham sunshine for Aston Villa. Talking to some Villa fans today, and most of them seem to uh, tip either a 1-0 or a 2-0 win for Liverpool. They could see it coming. They know the shortcomings of their team, but it was always going to be a tough test to start with. It's just that some of those fans think that Villa should be up there with Liverpool, but I don't think that's going to happen. They're in the next batch of clubs, really. And, uh, might have to concentrate a bit on staying there. Determined display from Liverpool. And we're in the last minute of added on time, but it doesn't even look like there's going to be a frantic finish, really, does it? Villa short on ideas and Liverpool comfortable. Although there is still time. The Claret and Blue boys. Got to launch it now, though. Mel Burke, he does just that. And De La Cruz will go in with Traore. And it's a throw in. With seconds remaining. An anxious end to the game for Liverpool. Empty seats in the whole 10, tell the story. But the ones who've stayed. Or will they see an amazing end to the game? There was a shove on uh, Hoopy as he came to head that. Not that he's got anything, mind you. Uh, felt he could have done. Well, this is the last chance, surely. Staunton rolls it to Dela Cruz, but it's away by Xavier. Maybe it would have been better just to plant that one in the six-yard box. They might still have time to do it. Samuel. And by Alpai, who stayed forward. Vassell. And Oncho just wasn't going to let him have a shot. It's all over. And Liverpool's championship challenge starts here. And it starts with a victory given to them by John Arna Risa with a goal.
on the counter-attack. Typical Liverpool style. Michael Owen's penalty saved by Peter Enkelman. But uh, they deserve to run out winners, really. Gerard Houdier's men are off and running. It finishes at Villa Park. Aston Villa nil. Liverpool won. Yeah.